What's up guys, Minus the Beard here with a Blu-ray update. Um, I actually got a lot of stuff this week too. And I don't usually buy this much stuff, but you know, usually maybe like two or three movies. Um, and that's usually like eBay or used or like 7, 8, 8 things. So I don't usually spend a lot of money. But this week I just came across a lot of stuff that I wanted and found like really good deals on. So I got stuff from Best Buy, Target, eBay, um, Flea Market, and Manifest, which is a record store, which got bought out by FYE, but still, still called Manifesto. And I also got some autograph stuff, which I showed you some of the autograph stuff I have in my last video, and I picked up some more today, so I'll show that to you. Um, stuff I got from Best Buy, I got Pineapple Express, um, I don't know why it took me so long to get this, but... I guess it comes on TV a lot. I actually think it's on TV right now. Um, but it was on the Sony Save Station. And it's buy one, get one free this week. So I got this for five bucks, basically. Um, hilarious movie. Love James Franco. My favorite part, though, are all the scenes with Danny McBride. I just love Danny McBride. I think he's hilarious. So I'm glad to pick this up. Um, then the other one I got in that deal was Ghostbusters. Another classic that just took me forever to get, but I love Bill Murray. I don't think he's ever made a bad movie, so probably one of my favorite actors. Top five, I would think. Um, yeah, top five, definitely. Um, so I picked up Ghostbusters. Um, Best Buy also had a, like a little station where they were buy three, three for 20. Um, so I picked up a couple of those. Picked up a classic. Uh, the Sting with Robert Redford and Paul Newman. Just a great movie. Um, haven't seen it in forever. Been wanting it and couldn't pass on that deal. I think a lot of these two are like the so the Universal 100th Anniversary movies, but without the slip covers, which is fine with me because I actually, I know I'm in the minority, but I actually don't care for those slip covers. So I picked this up. Um, in that same deal, I also picked up The Deer Hunter. Another great movie, um, De Niro, Christopher Walken, just a classic. Um, I also got Cape Fear, which is one of the best uh, suspense thrillers. Love it. I actually used to be really scared of this movie when I was a kid for whatever reason. Um, De Niro just scared the hell out of me. Um, the only problem with this is, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom there, it says, from the director of The Departed. Now this is Martin Scorsese, but... Departed, great movie. Not his best movie. Maybe put down here from the director of Goodfellas or Raging Bull. But that's my only issue with this. Great movie, though. Um, same deal. Picked up another classic, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I mean, nothing to be said about that. Just a great movie. Another classic, Animal House. Same deal. And a movie I've wanted for a while. Um, I used to have the Criterion DVD of this. And that's Do the Right Thing. Um, Spike Lee's best movie. Love this movie. Mookie. Great. And then I got this at Best Buy as well. Um, I've been wanting this for a while. I watch it every morning. I wake up early too. I wake up at usually around 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm just an early riser. And this comes on TBS from like 4.30 to 7. And I usually will watch every episode that comes on every morning. But um, Married with Children, the complete series. <laughs> um, I've been wanting this for a while. And it's usually $45. And they had it this week for 30 And so I couldn't pass it up. 32 disc for 30 bucks. You can't beat that. It's got 261 episodes. I've probably seen them all, but I don't know. That seems like a lot of episodes, though. But really happy to get this. Um, Target picked up A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles Swan III. Um, great cast. We got Charles, Charlie, Charlie Sheen, uh, Bill Murray, and Jason Schwartzman. And I love these two. Um, big Wes Anderson film fan um, and they're usually in most of his films and this is written and directed by uh, Roman Coppola who co-wrote 
the Darjeeling Limited and Moonrise Kingdom with Wes Anderson, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this. I know the reviews of it haven't been that great, but I also read that if you like Wes Anderson films, you'll love this. So, uh, let's see. Then at a flea market, I picked up Lincoln, the four-disc version. This is actually brand new, um, and it was only $8.00. It was actually 10 and then the guy, I guess he didn't think I was going to buy it, but I was definitely going to buy it for $10. Um, and he was just like, you know, it's really slow. I'll give it to you for 8 bucks. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll take it. And then from the guy at the flea market right next to this guy, actually, who saw me buy that. So he gave, he <laughs> I actually got this from him. It's the Shawshank Digi book for 5 bucks, And he had it for 7 I don't know. I guess because I bought that one from the other guy, he he thought I wouldn't buy anything from him. I don't know. Because the, the other guy, this guy, had Lincoln as well, and his was $10. And the only reason I didn't buy it from him was that he didn't have the slip cover. And I was like, well, if I'm going to pay the same price, you know, I'll just get it from this guy. But I ended up getting a better deal. So he sold me this for 5 bucks. It was used, but it's perfect condition. It actually has sharp corners, which is what I usually look for in digi books. Because Sam's will get Digibooks all the time. They're great deals, but they're beat to shit. So, happy to have this. And I have the Steelbook, but actually, I used to think I liked Steelbooks more. But I think I'm actually a Digibook guy now. And I actually prefer Digibooks. Um, I ordered some Criterions from Amazon with that sale they've got going on, but they haven't come in yet. So, But I did pick up one on eBay, and that's Being John Malkovich. Great movie, Spike Jones film. Um, Cameron Diaz looks ridiculous in there. And this, the guy was actually selling for $16, which I would have bought, but he actually had the option of just the make an, op make an offer option. And so I offered him 13 bucks, and he took it, so... Great deal on this. Um, and then the stuff I got from Manifest. They had a deal. It was buy two used to get the third for a dollar. So I picked up The Natural with Robert Redford, which is a classic. I love baseball, um, football, and basketball. But, you know. So a great sports movie to add to the collection. Um, and I picked this up. It's uh, Playmakers, the complete series. I used to love this on ESPN, but it was, I don't know that they only had maybe one season, maybe two seasons of this, but it was a really good series, and I got this for $9 used, which isn't a great deal, but in that deal, it ended up being a good deal. And then I also got, this was the third one, Gremlins, which I love the movie, and I almost never see it with a slipcover, and they had it there used with a slipcover. So, pretty good deal. And off all those, I got Playmakers, Gremlins, and The Natural, and I only paid $10 for them. 10, like ten fifty for them. And then I went to a signing today um, for DJ Swearinger, who's a safety for the... Uh, Houston, Texas now, but played at South Carolina. So I picked up this. It's a mini helmet signed by DJ Swearinger. And I got this photo, which I already framed, um, of him just laying out Andre Ellington. Um, if you haven't seen the hit, check it out on YouTube. I mean, he, DJ Swearinger lays the wood. And this is just a great, uh, great footage of him photo of him um, just um, just in Andre Ellington's face after that hit. And then I also picked this up, which is a autograph photo of A. Sanders, who's now a wide receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars, and he was MVP of the uh, Outback Bowl this year against Michigan. He's, I would say, I mean, he's pretty similar to Tavon Austin. I know most people are familiar with him. But I would keep an eye out for him because I think he's going to be a star. And that's pretty much it. That's all I picked up. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll probably come back with another update video next week.
definitely not this big, but you know, thanks for watching guys.